take a look at how a Gantt chart can be used as a project management tool. Basically, Gantt charts allow for the planning and scheduling of tasks involved in the development of an information system. Okay, so here you can see a Gantt chart and it's broken up into subsections based on the system development life cycle. The chart is a planning tool and is created before the project has commenced. In doing so, the Gantt chart acts as a tool for ensuring projects are being completed to schedule with different sub projects having different deadlines. Tasks may be conducted simultaneously and completed by different team members during this same period. Okay, so let's see how we can use this blank Gantt chart and actually schedule our tasks on it. So in the understanding the problem stage, we may decide we're going to interview to participants and be developing the requirement report. Likely those two things will be occurring side by side, so our Gantt chart will reflect that. In the planning stage, we will update the requirement report, maybe develop a requirements prototype and conduct a feasibility study based on these things in order to ensure we have a good idea in mind. So these few things, once again, kind of occurring within the same bracket, but we also know that kind of we have to understand the requirement report before we do have to start things after it. In the designing stage, we are doing our modeling and then we're actually building the system. So modeling shouldn't take too long, but we will give a decent amount of time to actually developing our information system. The implementation stage will involve us actually implementing the actual information system into the workplace and then training the participants. So they can overlap each other because we actually are installing it into the workplace where the participants are and we can actually be showing them how it works, maybe in trialing it on a few machines. And finally, testing, evaluating, maintaining, where we'll be testing the system and evaluating the system. Maintaining may occur after the system is fully installed and now plan occurring then. So we might leave that one off this Gantt chart, but we're testing the system, okay? We'll test it over the next few days, and then we might give it four days to actually see that the information system is working and evaluated and make sure that it met the initial needs of our actual requirement report when it's in the workplace. So I hope this Gantt chart gives you a visual idea of how these actual tools can be used for scheduling tasks, allowing us to give a good representation of when what occurs, and basically can help an actual project manager and their team ensure that they are sticking to schedule.